Hey you guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Ray, and God is using me in this season of my life to be a prophetic voice in regards to kingdom marriages. With everything that I say, take it back to God in prayer. Make sure this word is pertaining to you in this season of your life. Ask the Holy Spirit for discernment on how to apply this message to your life specifically. And to any of you they, that may be out there watching my video and you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to ask the Lord Jesus Christ into your life. Admit that you are a sinner and that you are in need of his saving grace. And Jesus Christ is yours and salvation is yours and eternal life is yours yours okay and if you need me to help you um, to pray with you in regards to um, asking Jesus into your heart as Lord and Savior then please send me an email it's in my bio and I'll be more than happy to um, pray with you but you guys I'm just jumping on here to share with you all a quick word the Holy Spirit laid on upon my heart and my mind and I know and I know you guys know that this journey of faith and walking with Jesus is not easy. You know, we, we want to walk with Jesus. We love the Lord Jesus Christ. But let's just be real. You know, this walk of faith and this journey um, to salvation, it, it's not an easy journey. It's not an easy road. It's the road less travel. And um, oftentimes, this journey can cause you to grow weary and this journey can cause you to um, doubt the promises of God and this journey can cause you to um, to want to give up and throw in the towel right but Jesus is saying God is saying in this hour and in this season that you are his you are his and there may be some of you at the sound of my voice that is struggling right now, that you're struggling right now in this hour. Perhaps you are dealing with health issues, okay? Perhaps you are dealing with uh, severe uh, financial issues. Perhaps you are a kingdom spouse who's standing for your prodigal spouse and you're waiting on God to bring it to full manifestation, this promise. Perhaps you are standing for restoration of your marriage. Um, perhaps you're standing for God to open up a door for new employment. You're standing for God to open up the door for you to move into a new home. You're uh, standing for the Lord to answer your prayers in regards to transportation you don't have any transportation in this season and you're 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 uh, praying and petitioning the father to open up the door for you for transportation whatever it is that you're standing for in this season whatever it is that you're battling whatever it is that you're struggling with whatever it is that you feel like you're about to throw in the towel because you're tired God is just wanting me to tell you right now that it is okay that he loves you, that he has not forsaken you, that he has not forgotten about you, that he will provide all of your needs according to his riches and glory. God is going to take care of you. You are his. You belong to God. And there's nothing too big. There's nothing too big for God to handle. He will, he will, he will supply all of your needs. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is your provider, whatever you're needing God to provide you with in this season. God is saying he is the one that can do it. And he is the one that will do it. Do not lose heart. Do not give up. Trust in the Lord. Everything that God said he's going to do, he is faithful to perform it. He is faithful to do it. But you have to continue to trust. You have to continue to believe. You have to continue to stand in faith. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. You have to believe it before you see it. Believe that he is able to do above and beyond all that we think and all that we ask. And the Holy Spirit led me to this passage of scripture while I was sitting here in my car. 
and it's found in Isaiah 43 and 1. And the verse reads, But now, thus saith the Lord who created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. God is saying, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. No matter what you are standing up against, God is saying, fear not. Whatever that mountain is that's standing in your way, God is saying, fear not. The Bible says, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can speak to that mountain. You can speak to that thing. You can speak to your situation and tell that thing to move out of the way and it must obey. It must obey in the name of Jesus. Let me start from the beginning of this verse again. But now, thus said the Lord who created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. God has called you by name, and you belong to him. You belong to them. God is saying in this hour right now at the sound of my voice that you belong to him. He says, you are mine. You are mine. You are mine. And if you belong to God, he is going to take care of you because you are his daughter and you are his son, and he is going to take care of the children that belong to him. God has not forsaken you. He hears your prayers. He sees your tears. He knows exactly what you're going through. He knows exactly what you're going through, and he's already made a way. He's already made the way. The Bible says that he will make the crooked path straight. He will make the crooked path straight in Jesus' name. He has already ordered your step. All you have to do is walk in alignment with God's will and his purposes for your life. It may not look what God, it may not look like what God said. But you have to believe it before you see it. It may not look like what God said, but you must believe it before you see it. You must believe it before you receive it in Jesus' name. You must believe it before you receive it. And I want you to begin to decree and I want you to begin to declare right now. You can drop it in the comments at the sound of my voice. I belong to God and my God shall provide all of my needs. I belong to God and my God, my God, the one and only true God shall supply all of my needs. Begin to decree begin to declare right now in this hour, in this moment, that my God shall supply all of my needs because I belong to Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh is my God and God is more than able. God is more than able to supply whatever it is that you need right now. If you're uh, standing in need of physical uh, healing, if you're standing in need of financial help, if you're standing in need of emotional help, if you're standing in need of a place to stay, if you're standing in need of transportation, if you're standing in need of a new job, whatever in the, uh, whatever it is, God is saying he is Jehovah Jireh. He is all that you need. He is everything that you need. All you need to do is put your trust in him. Put your trust in him and stand on Isaiah 43, 1. Drop it in the comments, Isaiah 43, 1. But now thus say the Lord who created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. And let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, I am redeemed by the Lord. I love you guys. And I will talk to you the next time the Lord sends me back with another word. Bye.